Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's What You Want. Today's recipe request comes in from the Facebook user Johan Sorengard and he has asked me to make some Wiener Schnitzels. So let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So of course we're going to be using some veal, traditionally that's what's used in a Wiener schnitzel and the cut that I'm using here today is from the rib area, it's a veal cutlet, it's got great flavour to it. You use whatever cut uh, of veal steak that you like uh, and whatever you can get your hands on. You can also get your butcher to prepare it for you as well but I'm going to quickly show you how to get it nice and thin. So what I've done is I've cut if you're using the cutlet like I am, I've cut it off the bone, so I've got rid of that part, trimmed off the fat, and then I'm gonna put it into a snap block bag, and then I'm going to use a meat hammer, and I'm going to hammer out the meat until it's nice and thin. You can also use a pot to do this as well if you don't have a uh, meat hammer to do it. And this is the thickness, you can see here, this is the thickness that we are after, nice and thin. You can see how you know we've gone from a steak that size and almost tripled it in size. Now you've seen me do this many times before. I've set up a breading station because obviously we're gonna be uh, coating our veal in some flour, some egg, and also some breadcrumb. But first, I've got some flour. Now very important, don't season the flour. Just normal, plain flour. And I'm gonna grab our veal I'm just going to coat it in that flour. It's very important also when you're doing Venus schnitzel, don't press anything in, just, you know, get some flour, put it on the top like that, dust the excess off, don't get your hands in and really press it all in. The next step of course is some eggs and I've just got two egg yolks. There's no milk, there's no water, just eggs. And I'm going to lay the veal straight in there and get it nicely coated. And lastly, I've got some breadcrumbs. Again, they're not seasoned, they're just ordinary breadcrumbs. Make sure you use dried breadcrumbs to this, don't use fresh. And I'm gonna get our veal from our egg. And again, don't press it in. You just want to put it on there like that. Okay, that's exactly what we are after. So just keep repeating that process with as many Venus schnitzels as you want to make. Now, we're gonna be cooking our schnitzel and in a large pan here I've got some butter. Now some of you will be saying some butter? My god how much butter is that? Now traditionally this is done with butter and it's uh, shallow fried and that's the way it's done. Today a lot of restaurants and, and, and a lot of people will do uh, deep fried in a canola oil or something like that which is a healthier alternative. So we're going to be placing our schnitzel in And because it is quite thin, I only want to cook it for about three minutes, a minute and a half each side. The outside will be nice and golden brown. Do this over a medium to high heat. So just check it out. I've pulled out our uh, Venus schnitzel from the pan. Beautiful golden brown. The smell is wonderful. And look at that nice crust, it's puffed up a little bit, and that's exactly what we want. Now, what are we gonna serve with this? Normally, I would serve a potato gratin with this, because I think it goes great. Potatoes in this dish are just a match made in heaven. I will pop a link to some potato gratin that I've made before in the description if you wanna go and check out that video. But what I'm gonna serve this up with today are some uh, boiled baby potatoes and I've just dressed them in a little bit of olive oil, seasoned them with some salt and pepper, and then I've put some fresh herbs, I've got some parsley, some chives, and, uh, and I've just popped it. I've also got some dill, and I've just mixed it through there, and I'm gonna be serving that up with this. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without a slice of lemon on the side, and you're gonna use that lemon, you can pop it over the potatoes, of course, pop it over the schnitzel there, and I tell you what guys, this is dude's food. It's my sort of food, I love it. Let's get stuck into this bad boy.
So this is one of my favorite, favorite dishes. I absolutely love this. Let's give it a try. Oh. There's, there's no words. It's just so tender and moist on the inside. Beautiful, crispy, and you know what? The, the lemon over it goes fantastically well. I love this dish, and like I said before, sure, you can do some healthier versions of it, but you know what? This is a real treat. I love it. Please give this one a go. It is awesome. <laughs>